We'll now assume we have a number that we start in base 10 and we want to move to a different base. So how will we go about that? Our first step is if we want to convert an integer n to base b, we're going to divide n by b. So divide the number by the base. Our division algorithm then says we have a, this corresponds to n is equal to b times q0 plus r0. So we have our quotient and our remainder. The next step is to take that quotient and divide it by b, not n. So now I have that q0 is equal to b times q1 plus r1. We have a new quotient and a new remainder. And then essentially we want to continue until our quotient, which we'll say q of m, is equal to zero. So essentially we just want to continue this process until we get a quotient of zero. And now we have our remainders go backwards. The last remainder we got is our first digit. And we have the first remainder that we got is actually the rightmost digit. And we'll do a few examples to show this. We want to convert this number, 42,193, to octal. So our first step is to divide this number by 8. When we do, we get a quotient of 5,274 and a remainder of 1. The next process is to divide 5,274 by 8. This gives us 659 as a quotient with a remainder of 2. We now do 659 divided by 8. This gives us a quotient of 82 with a remainder of 3. Keep going. 82 divided by 8 is 10 with a remainder of 2. 10 divided by 8 is 1 with a remainder of 2. And then finally, 2 divided by 8 has a quotient of 0 and a remainder of 2. So we have the final quotient of 0 that we wanted. And now we write this going up with our remainders. So 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1. And this is our representation base 8. Our next example, we have this number that we want to convert to hexadecimal, so base 16. And we start by dividing by 16. When we divide this by 16, we get a quotient of 30169 with a remainder of 9. Our next step is to take that quotient and divide it by 16. When we do, we get a new quotient of 1,887 and a remainder of 4. We now divide that number by 16. This gives us a quotient of 117 with a remainder of 15. We now divide 117 by 16. Here, my quotient is 7 with a remainder of 5. And then finally, 7 divided by 16 is 0 with a remainder of 7. And now we work our way back up. I have 7, 5, 15 is represented by an F, and then 4, 9. And this is base 16. For our last example, we'll convert 197 to binary, so base 2. 197 divided by 2 is 98 with a remainder of 1. 
98 divided by 2 is 49 with a remainder of 0. 49 divided by 2 is 24 with a remainder of 1. 24 divided by 2 is 12 with a remainder of 0. 12 divided by 2 is 6 with a remainder of 0. 6 divided by 2 is 3 with a remainder of 0. 3 divided by 2 is 1 with a remainder of 1. And then finally, 1 divided by 2 is 0 with a remainder of 1. And then we work our way back up. So this is 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1, base 2.